In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the Good Sync app that I have found very helpful, especially for my digital marketing and content creation workflows. So by the end of this video, you will understand fully how to use this app and what is this app doing and perhaps how you can use it to really save a lot of time in your business, especially if you are dealing with larger files and you need backups and synchronization. Okay, so what is GoodSync? GoodSync is a file synchronization and backup software that is available on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS. And you have a free version and the paid version as always. You can start with the free version. So you just download it on your computer, install it, and you have a 30 day free trial. But then you can even continue with the free option. And what are the main things that you can do with this app? First, you just need to install it. Then you just create a job, either a synchronization uh, job or backup job. So with synchronization, it's like this two-way communication between, let's say, two sources of uh, data, uh, let's say an SSD and some kind of cloud service, for example. Uh, but with backup, it's the same, but you are just doing a one-way communication where you are dropping uh, files from one source and then just want to keep it and store it on the other source. Then you just select the source and destination folders and choose the automation option. You have a lot of options there uh, that I will show you in a moment. And then all of your files can be synchronized. This is extremely helpful, especially, for example, if you are a video editor or you are running some kind of video production thing, uh, because quite often, if you just store stuff store data on your cloud, then to edit all of this information, you would need to first just download all of this information from your cloud onto some kind of SSD, then just edit it there. And then once again, upload it back to the cloud once you have finished editing. So that's a lot of manual copying and pasting, and it's a big headache. So this app is just solving all of that. This is the overview of the free version. So you have the file backup, file synchronization, and you have these platforms and services. So actually, this is like the free and the personal, right? So you have these platforms, you have these devices, you have different types of cloud storage and different types of protocols. And you have the 30 day free trial, but after that, you can just go with this kind of individual license, which is uh, you know, $25, $22 for the good sync personal. So I think this, is, this will be more than enough for most users. Then you can also just buy some kind of uh, good sync storage. And then you have this business option that has way more possible options and it's more geared towards larger organizations. For example, if you need real-time data transfer or remote file access and things like that, you can just very easily just compare these solutions here, just see which one would be better for you. And you have these types of um, prices here. So it's much more expensive so probably most of the time, if you're an individual content creator, the free option would be uh, probably the best for you or the, the individual uh, personal option for like $20 per year. Okay, so now that you understand how this app works and what are the main functions here, let's just uh, take a look at the dashboard. For example, over here, this is a job that is in progress. So we are syncing between OneDrive and uh, my Mac. And over here, you can see um, the speed and all of that stuff. So this is like a lot of um, data. So this will take quite a while. 
But then how would you set it up for uh, your own um, use? So you just, everything starts here. Once you are here, this can look quite intimidating, but actually it's pretty simple. You just go with new job and then backup or synchronize. So backup, this is just a one way copy of files and folders. Synchronize, that's to propagate changes. So for example, if you are running some kind of video production project and you have a lot of data that you want to, to synchronize between your SSD, so you can just uh, edit straight from your SSD, but then you want to synchronize all of this with the cloud, this is going to be a great option. So over here we have a test job, let's say, and then you just need to select the folder. So you can see that you have many uh, options uh, available here. So for example, you can just sync between, I don't know, Dropbox and some kind of local drive uh, that you have available. And once you set this up, this is actually really easy. Uh, probably if you are working in an organization, somebody will need to give you an authorization to uh, do this. Uh, but uh, otherwise, this should be pretty straightforward. You can just uh, basically select OK, OK, OK. And then you have this folder on the left and this folder on the right. And then once this thing is running, uh, you have these extra options over here. Uh, and the most uh, probably interesting one would be um, just options. Uh, so then you can really um, set this up however you want it. So let me just walk you through this thing. So synchronize two ways, that's all good. Usually these things, you will not even touch them. Then you have filters. Um, you can use it to include some of the files, but exclude some types of files. If you, for example, don't want to mess up your database or you just want to sync some types of files, uh, this would be really useful. Then you have the auto uh, options. Uh, for example, when you want to analyze and sync. So for example, on file change, on folders connect, on good sync start, periodically, uh, every, let's say, two minutes, right? Or on file change, every 20 seconds. Then on log off, on schedule, you have all of these other options over here. So you can just set it up however you want it. Then you have this analyze because before you start running this kind of synchronization job, you need to analyze the both of the spaces to make sure that everything is looking good. And then you have the file details. You can copy uh, original file system names, copy permissions, attributes, and so on and so forth. And then you have some advanced options over here. Uh, this probably, uh, this is just like the history. And then you have speed and limits. Uh, you can um, select how many uh, threads you want to run in parallel, uh, total seconds to reconnect attempts, uh, then how you want to resolve conflicts. So usually it will automatically resolve weak conflicts. Uh, you will get messages if there is any kind of synchronization error. Uh, and uh, then um, you have automatically resolve conflicts strong ones. So then if you have a conflict, you just select that it should not copy and you will get this message and then you can find out what's going on. Um, okay, and then once you select these particular options, you are basically good to go and you can create a group of jobs or you can create a number of jobs and they will be all here. And as long as your computer is on and for example, if you have an external SSD, uh, the external SSD is connected, then this uh, program, this app will just analyze and look for changes in the folders, basically however you set it up, for example, every five minutes. And then if it finds any changes, it's going to synchronize the um, changes between, let's say, your SSD and your 
cloud storage. So then you can have everything um, with the most updated version on um, both you know, your cloud and your SSD or however you want to use it. Like FTP, NAS, you can do everything uh, with it. So uh, this was the, like the synchronization job, but you can of course just use it to run encrypted backups to increase your focus on cybersecurity as well. So I hope this uh, quick overview of Good Sync was helpful to you. If you like this video, please, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. See you.